Hello guys, this is Power Learn Science and Maths TV. I welcome you all to this channel. Thank you for your support. And if you are new on the channel, if there is a kind of content you are looking for, please don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel. And um, on this channel, we solve mathematics, chemistry, and physics related problems. Now in this video, we are to solve for the value of x in the problem square root of x cubed is equal to 1. Now, I'll be glad if you pause the video and then solve, try your hands on this. Now, by um, solving this problem, I would like to point out few mistakes that students make or few mistakes that in the course of solving this problem, you are likely to make. Now, to solve this problem, what we can do is that we can um, find a way of removing the square root sign and to do that what it means is that we would have to we would have to square both sides so squaring both sides squaring both sides gives us x cubed is equal to one now this is where most people make the mistake now what people do is that they just want to take cubic root because this is cube they just want to take cubic root of one which gives one this is partly true but this is not the only answer x is equal to one is not the only answer and the reason is because generally the 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 exponent of the variable determines the number of values that we must get so if x, the exponent of x is n it means that we must get n values of x so if the exponent of x for example is 3 it means that we must get three values of x so getting x is equal to 1 is not the only solution so even though this is correct but it is partly correct it's not the full solution so then what do we do let me continue from here so what we are going to do here is that we have to simplify this and um, x cube is equal to one is the same as x cube minus one is equal to zero so let's find a way of making uh, the right hand side to be zero now because this problem is a cubic function it's a cubic function and so we have to apply the cubic principle to solve for the value of x and so to do this um, um we are going to apply the general property which says that if we have a cube minus b cube this is the same as this is the same as a minus b multiply by a squared plus b squared plus a b so this is this is the the principle and so we are going to apply this principle to expand what we have here where in this case x is the a and one is the b and so applying this principle we are going to get x minus one multiplying x squared plus 1 squared plus ab which is x times 1 which is x so all this must be equal to 0 and so rewriting we are going to get x minus 1 multiplied by x squared plus x plus 1 this is equal to 0 now if we have a problem like this what it means is that x minus 1 is either equal to 0 where x is equal to 1 so this is one of the solution or or x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation and so i'm going to apply the almighty formula to solve for the value of x in the quadratic equation x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 and so 
to do that the quadratic equation says that the value of x is given by negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac or divided by 2a now the b is the coefficient of x which is 1 and the a is the coefficient of x squared which is also 1 and the c is a constant here which is also 1 and so substituting that into the general formula gives the value of x can be negative b so b is 1 so negative 1 plus or minus square root of b squared which is 1 squared minus 4 into bracket 1 and then the c is also 1 so all these divided by 2 into bracket 1 and so x gives negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 all divided by 2 and so x gives negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 is the same as square root of negative 3 divided by 2 now this is the same as x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus I want to break this one down square root of negative 3 is the same as square root of negative 1 times square root of 3 all these divided by 2 so all these divided by 2 so let me and so let me continue here now so if we have this uh, x is going to give us negative 1 plus or minus now um, the square root of negative 1 is the complex root i times square root of 3 all these divided by 2 and so this gives x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 3i all these divided by 2 now when we have a problem like this or when you have something like this the one value of x is either negative 1 plus so the positive side of this root of 3 times the complex root divided by 2 or x or x2 is equal to negative 1 then the negative side of this negative square root of 3i all this divided by 2 so in essence the three values of x are x is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 3i divided by 2 then x is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 3i or divided by 2 then lastly x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 so these are the three values of x thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel bye bye